The battlefield of today is a shadow world of special forces soldiers who stalk each other without mercy. These highly trained teams are often the first boots on the ground when diplomacy fails and the going gets tough. They come in early, they come in hard, and they come at night, because night is the killing time. This assault has been an exercise for a team of soldiers undergoing the tough training the original Special Forces unit took back in 1942. History remembers those men as the first Special Service Force, but Hollywood called them... The Devil's Brigade. The movie created the myth. These soldiers are living the reality. For the next month, they'll train and fight the way the Devil's Brigade did. Hey, come on, you're under fire. And if they think being a soldier in 1942 was easy, they're in for a shock. You're under fire. Come on, engage. Do not interfere on the range. You understand? I'll kick your fucking ass. I tell them to do something, he does it. Their time in the past will be violent and brutal. Kill him for God's sake. Before it's over, one of these men will almost die. Four will be hospitalized and two will go home. Those who tough it out will come to Europe to attempt one of the Devil's Brigade's most dangerous missions. The experience will be harder than the soldiers could ever have imagined. It will push some to their limits. Now we do it because we're all fucking soldiers and we don't turn back or none of that shit. Because we, that's just what we are, we're soldiers. Using muscle, courage, and all their special forces training, the men will try to do what the Devil's Brigade once did. Overcome the odds and defeat a resolute and determined enemy. These men are not actors, but experienced uh, German soldiers. And just like the Panzer Grenadiers who held this outpost 60 years ago, this squad is hell-bent on holding their position. Okay. 